Hello everybody, happy day three of What's for Dinner November. So today we actually have a pretty simple uh, menu going on tonight, which is nice, it's always nice. I try to throw one or two of those in a week. Um, I was able today to make out all of my menu then for next week and make out the grocery list and all of that so that I could get that going. So I will be sharing that with you, of course, over the weekend. But day, today is day three, Thursday. Super easy, we're doing soup beans. They just take a little bit of time. So it's about, I'm probably going on four now and I'm gonna go on and start it. They take a couple hours. And then some cornbread and we are making a apple cranberry almond slaw. So that is what we are gonna make today. There is no dessert. I am trying to keep dessert to be, I'm making dessert three times a week is, is the plan. And then we have leftover dessert, like there's still a little bit of pie, not much, sorry, roosters are running about out here. A little bit of pie left, but not too much. Um, but that's okay, because tomorrow I'm going to make a carrot cake. So, you know, that's, that's how it goes. So let's go on and start this. This is something that I definitely grew up on. My grandmother would eat raw onions with it, always. <laughs> um, I never did care for that. But to have a big bowl of soup beans with some butter on top and some cornbread, that's just hits the spot. Always, at least once in the fall, I try to make this. So let's go get this started. Okay, so pinto beans are a very inexpensive way to make dinner. We love pinto beans. We buy them by the 20 pound bag. In fact, I just had to run down and open a new one. We love that. All I'm doing here is looking for any kind of rocks or bad looking kind of beans. I'd say that's good. I'm not gonna make a huge pot because um, I don't wanna have a ton of leftovers <laughs> because we are cooking every night for you guys. This Normally I would make a huge batch though and then I would have leftovers for a day or two because I love them, Kate loves them. Um, the others aren't fond of them but they will eat them. I'm gonna go rinse these really good and then I'll be back. Okay, I did end up adding a few more beans but then I've just filled it to about here with water and I'm gonna add a little salt pork. It's just something that I got at Walmart and I'm gonna add a few pieces of that to this. Next, I'm gonna add some salt. You guys, that's it. That's how simple this is. Put it on high. Now we're gonna let this cook down till there's really no water left. Fill it up with water again and cook it down again. That's why it takes a couple hours. And you can do that. Sometimes I do it three times. It just depends. The more you do it, the more you do it, the richer the beans are gonna be. And then at the very end, um, you add some butter and they're they're so good. This is like I said how I grew up how my grandma made it just super simple soup beans So we'll let this cook and we'll check on this here in just a little bit And ignore the laundry, but here is the 20 pound bag. I was telling you about I just get it from Walmart and They are definitely more expensive now than they used to be. I'm not sure what they are now I have a few of these in my basement and um, but we go through a lot of pinto beans. We love to make our own refried beans and a lot of just bean soups and things like that. Okay, while that is getting ready to start boiling, we're gonna go on and make the slaw because that way it's got time to sit in the fridge. Coleslaw of any kind uh, is always better after the dressing has sat on it for a while, a few hours. So let's just go on and get that made real quick. Okay, so I kind of got everything ready for you guys. We're gonna start with some cabbage. Then we're gonna do apple and carrot. That's your main things in this kind of slaw going on. Then we're gonna add some almonds and some craisins as well. Oh, and green onion. 
And then we will make up the dressing to go on top. I've got that all just kind of measured out for you guys. So let's start with just cutting up the vegetables. dressing. For the dressing I have almost a cup of mayonnaise, about a fourth a cup of, or I'm sorry, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and about a fourth a cup of sugar. I'm just going to mix this together. A handful of slivered almonds or sliced almonds and a handful of cranberries. Almost forgot that. Also I'm going to add a little salt. And pepper. cover this up and put this in the fridge until it's time for dinner and I just want to show you guys these are the cutest measuring cup there is a cow there's a little pig there's a little cowboy hat and the last one is a little boot they're so adorable 
All right, here's a peek at how the beans are going. It is about 4.30, so it's been about a half hour so far. They are starting to cook down. If I can get three times doing the water in um, before 6 o'clock-ish, then I will. We'll see what happens. All right, so it is going on 5 o'clock. It's 4.57. And this is definitely cooked down. It's time to add water for the second cooking of it. It's getting nice and dark. All I'm doing is just filling it back up. All right, now that's going to cook down again for the second time. Growing up, my grandmother would say, she'd call everybody, I'm putting on a pot of beans today. Everybody come over. Now she would make her cornbread, but she would fry it. It's like cornbread pancakes kind of thing. And you would just tear it off and eat it with it. Now we are going to make cornbread, but we're going to make regular cornbread. I have tried and tried to make her fried cornbread like that. I have no success. If anybody has a great recipe for that, let me know down below. Because I will try all of them. I'm trying so hard to get that. That's one of the things I absolutely hate not getting that recipe from her before she passed away. Um, I wish that I had but i i didn't unfortunately so i'm gonna make some cornbread so let's go on it and get that started i'm gonna start with preheating the oven at 350 degrees okay as far as cornbread goes as you see i don't have anything measured out for you i just got it all kind of sitting here we're gonna start with one cup of cornmeal Then we're gonna do one cup of flour. One teaspoon of salt. Three tablespoons of baking powder, not soda, but powder. Then we have a fourth a cup of sugar. Actually, I'm going to do about an eighth a cup. So I don't want it super sweet. I think that'll be good. And I'm just going to stir that up. To that, I'm going to add one cup of milk. A fourth cup melted butter and two eggs. I forgot my chicken bowl. <laughs> then we're just going to mix all that together. Now I'm just going to spray my dish. All right, and then we will just check that here. You <laughs> see my lights are everywhere. We'll just check that here uh, in a few minutes and see it when it's done. And soup beans are still just a boiling. Very easy dinner tonight. All right, it is 5.30 and it's cooked down quite a bit again. So I'm gonna go on and just do more water now. And I'll cook it, fill it probably about to here. Oh, you got all fogged up and let that cook down again. Alright, the cornbread is done. Smells so good. Now, we're just waiting on the beans. 
Alright, this is looking pretty close to done. It is 6.30. It's not too bad. I am going to add just a little more salt. And something my grandmother always did, she said to help with the gassiness, <laughs> is to add a little bit of baking soda at the very end of cooking. And then just kind of stir that around. I'm going to remove it from the heat because it is getting big. I'm going to turn this heat off. And that'll settle down here in a minute. So you can see it's already going down. All right, so here is dinner. And then, as my grandmother always did, can't have it without a little butter on top. And that's it, you guys. This is one of my absolute favorite dinners. Soup beans, coleslaw tastes so amazing. And the cornbread turned out perfect, not too sweet, just perfect. If you want it to be a sweeter cornbread, then you would add um, all the sugar, where a fourth a cup, where I only added the eighth a cup. All right, you guys, that's it. That's dinner tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to go eat this. We are about to go watch a, a show Luke has been dying to see. It's a brand new Loud House, the very Loud House, came out tonight. So we're going to pop some popcorn and watch that with him tonight. So I hope all of you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and we'll see you tomorrow for day four. Bye, everybody.